Chauhan and I'm working in Mind Browser as a project manager and my current roles include uh, handling end-to-end -end delivery of a project and specializing in the CI-CD pipeline or in the delivery of a project. So on those grounds, my topic for today will be how to implement DevOps in your organization to help your organization grow rapidly and also to understand the importance of the new DevOps practices which are being viewed. So let's start with the basic practices of DevOps where I will start by explaining DevOps. So what is DevOps? DevOps is actually the bridge or the gap between the development and the operations team. So once a development team uh, develops a project, it is important for it to be shipped and you know sent into a build so that the end user can use it. And that's when the operation team comes in. But deployment is where the major chunk of the work is done and this is helped by the DevOps team. So let's start by taking an example. There are two types of companies who are both rapidly growing and have a lot of traction. They need to ship out builds continuously and they need to, you know, grow rapidly. But one of the teams is using the CI CD pipelines, modern DevOps practices. And the other team is using legacy systems where uh, each of the developers is waiting for the code to be approved and merged individually. So such rapid development cannot be helped by the legacy system. You have to use modern practices of CI CD pipelines and find your way through multiple new uh, methods in order to uh, put this in place. So let's start by going through the three main pillars of DevOps and development integration and deployment. So for me, the three main pillars, I like to say it as SaaS, which is standardization, automation and shipler. So standardization means uh, if you have a code which is going to be reused and if there is a method or as you call a boilerplate and the code is to be reused everywhere, then, then uh, there should also be a standardized method of deploying these codes and deploying the build and shifting it to the end user. So standardization helps in you know getting rid of the redundancy which can be easily eliminated and which can save time and also help in better deployment. So this is standardization. Second is automation where we automate most of the CICD process. So uh, if you are go going through manual deployment, then in manual deployment, uh, DevOps user maybe has to deploy the whole build, test, regress and go through the whole process which has manual errors which can also cause you know um, maybe a lot of loss of a lot of time and effort which could easily be saved by automation. So this is where the CI CD pipeline comes in which I've been focusing on and it includes Jenkins and I think it is the most it is the biggest boon for DevOps so, you know because it uh, saves their effort and provides them an easy way to ship the builds. So, CI/CD pipeline is basically continuous integration and deployment where uh, they make use of the pipeline in order to ship the builds uh, continuously and also you know to handle whatever builds they're shipping and make sure that the version controlling is correct. So this is automation and in automation in Jenkins you do not have to go through the whole process of doing any manual task you just need to set up the whole uh, you know repository and post setting up the repository the build can be shipped continuously on its own as if you have shipped it correctly of course. And then the last point for me would be shift left. Shift left basically means that uh, if you are planning any process in development, then each process has to go through a certain uh, life cycle. But shift left helps in uh, understanding which process should come first and which should be more important and which can be performed earlier. So let me explain with an example. If uh, you are doing regression testing, if regression testing is done before deployment, it would help a lot and it would help save time in the process rather than going for it post deployment. So such, imp uh, such important practices are to be, you know, tracked down and handled using a ship left method. So this is my third and final point. And to put through continuous CI CD or continuous integration, continuous deployment, it helps a lot in all the growing companies and companies with huge traction such that, you know, if there is a lot of demand and a lot of uh, continuous ship of builds, because if you are, uh, you know, in a big market where it's such an e-commerce, so where you continuously need to ship all these builds, I think CICD helps in reducing the time and the effort and makes people focus more on the quality of build rather than focusing on the minute detail of shipping the build or you know, going through the whole process of putting everything in production in a manual manner. So that's my time for today.